In this multi-part tutorial, you will learn how to use Microsoft Active Directory and Network Policy Server to authenticate Wi-Fi users. When you install a Wi-Fi network in your home or business, you need to ensure that you configure a secure authentication method so as to prevent unauthorized access to your network. Microsoft Active Directory and uh, Network Policy Server can be used to provide secure authorization and authentication for users on your Wi-Fi network. So I'm going to walk you through the step-by-step -step process from start to finish. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to show you how to download and install Windows Server 2012 R2 on uh, VMware Fusion actually. But you can also use uh, VirtualBox for this setup. So open up a new browser window and uh, run a simple Google search for Windows Server 2012. So in the return results, click on uh, the Windows Server 2012 uh, uh, Evaluation Center search result. And then this should then open up the download page. So click on where it says download the ISO. And you now need to type in your information. So just type in your details and then click on the download now button. So I'm going to choose the uh, ISO 64-bit uh, down download option. So just click on the 64-bit edition link and the download process should begin. So open up VMware Fusion and click on add. Click on new and this should then open up the uh, virtual machine creation wizard. Drag the Windows Server ISO image file over to the wizard and then you just need to click on uh, continue. Click on continue once again and then here you can click on customize settings. So if you want to change the name you can just ad adjust the name there and then click on finish. So I'm just going to make an, a change to the network configuration and I'm actually going to attach it to the Wi-Fi interface. So just select the Wi-Fi interface or any other interface that is actually attached to your uh, network router and then click on OK. So once you've made this uh, change, you can then start the virtual machine. Click on OK and the boot process for the VM should start. So select the time and currency format that you'd like and click on next. Click on install now and you should now see a message telling you that the setup is actually starting. Select the server with a GUI option and click on next. Click on the I accept the license terms and click on next. Click on custom, choose the virtual hard disk and click on next. So you should now see that the installation is actually now in progress. This can take up to five minutes or so for the installation process to complete. Once the process is done, the virtual machine should restart and here you now need to set a password. So type in a secure password and then you just need to then click on finish. So you should now see a message telling you that the VM is finalizing these settings. So I'm just going to press Control Alt and Delete, and then I'm just going to sign into the server using the user account that I've actually just uh, configured. So the next thing that I'm going to show you how to do is how to set a custom host name for the virtual machine, and also how to install the VMware Fusion tools or the guest edition software. Um, so what you simply need to do is to open up the Windows Explorer. So once you've uh, done that, right click on this PC and click on properties. Click on change settings and then set the computer description to your custom host name. Click on settings once again and set your custom computer name or host name and then click on OK. Click on OK once again and then select the restart later option. Click on virtual machine and then click on install VMware tools. Click on install and then open up the Windows Explorer. Double click on the VMware Tools uh, DVD and this should then open up the install installation wizard. So here you just need to click on next, click on complete and click on next. Click on install and the VMware Tools uh, installation process should now begin.
so once the installation is complete you just need to restart the virtual machine for the changes to actually take effect so click on finish and then click on yes and the virtual machine restart process should begin so once the restart process is complete in the next tutorial i'm then going to show you how to install the microsoft active directory as well as the network policy server please consider to like and subscribe to the channel and please also share this video with your peers colleagues and friends i hope this tutorial has been informative and i'd like to thank you for viewing